Hey guys, welcome to part two of where to live if you're stationed at Joint Base Charleston. And today we're going to talk about the Navy Weapons Station. Now the Navy Weapons Station is probably close the Naval to, Weapons Station. I'm sorry, Naval Weapons Station. Uh, forgive me, I'm just Air Force. <laughs> I haven't been, haven't been stationed around the Navy as much. So the Naval Weapons Station is located about 10 miles away north of the Air Force Base uh, in the city of Goose Creek. And it is serviced by Berkeley County Schools. And we will have a website where you can check out um, with the liaison and uh, check out a little bit more about the schools, but it's Berkeley County. Berkeley County. And the school liaison officer, which Ellen is very familiar with, yeah. he can, well, I won't say he gives a good change, but they can help you with any school questions that you may have. Yeah, they've been, fab they're fabulous too. Like I mentioned before in a previous video, they are um, very helpful. Their number one goal is to help us military in the community uh, find schools uh, and direct us into those areas so and they give all the advice so I recommend anybody that's coming in to contact him immediately especially if you're thinking about school choice because there are certain guidelines that you have to have for school so the east side area are single family homes that service E7 through E9. And they sort of have a little bit of a Charleston flair to them. Um, those are multi-level homes, so two stories. Men River A is, um, those homes are open to E1 through E6. Retirees, the OD civilians, the general public is what um, those homes are for. Men River B are, and I would like to mention that the Men River A and the Men River B are older homes. They're single family, um, or they're single story. Yeah. And so um, some of them have carports, none of them have garages. Uh, those do serve, so Men River um, A services everybody. Men River B services E1 through E6. Men River D <laughs> are E1 through E7. And uh, that Men River D are actually newer homes and um, they are two level duplexes. So um, I believe those were built um, in 2008, 2009. Uh, so there are several parks that go in between yep. each of those um, family housing areas. So yep. Yep. lots of options on the Naval Weapons Station. And I know we give you a lot of information, so we'll have the website up here that you can go to and visit and it has a, a lot more information on there and more detail that you can study a little bit. Um, and also to note that uh, there is a commissary, there is a NEX that are mm -hmm. right there. They're not behind the gate, so anybody, well, they still check your ID when you go in there, of course, but you don't have to go through a gate to get right. to them. It's right there off of the main road, which is, I believe, Red Bank. Um, Red Bank Road. Red yeah. Bank Road right there. So, uh, um, and it's very pretty out there. And that, yeah. So, But it's a little bit further um, north, um, past the Air Force Base. But it's a great commute if you're stationed, because you can be stationed at the, Na or you can be stationed at the Air Force Base and live on the Navy base. Yeah. Same way you can be stationed in the Navy at the Naval Weapons Station and still live on the Air Force Base because yeah. we are Joint Base Charleston. So if you're coming in military, uh, you or you're PCSing in, um, there are a lot of options as far as um, base housing goes. So. Right, right. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and like I said, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, ring that little bell, so that way you get notified because we put out a new video every Thursday, and look forward to seeing our part three. Right. We're going to venture off base and talk about off base housing starting next week. Have a good one, guys. Have a good one, y'all.